Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 18 of my Revenge of Summoner playthrough. And Unstable Energy Anomaly. That summons the Granite Energy Storm wherever you, you kill it. So I had a regen and iron's going to pick up from somewhere. And there we go. All right, let's move my turrets to a better location. Oh, let's not run into solid blocks if I can avoid it. Uh, let's go ahead and get a little bit of Shade Rain action going as well. And... Okay, summoning a shield again. There we go. Oh, that was a damn jellyfish sitting there. I'm going to run through the, the sentries as much as I can here. Ow. Son of a... I'm in the water. I'm in the water. This is not a good place to be. Oh, hi. There you are. Yeah, good news is solid blocks stop the shots though. And yeah, so just keep pounding on them, guys. Here, have a little rage action, I think. Wow, uh, he got kind of busy too, didn't he? No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna. Die. I'm. I died. <laughs> and then I. But I didn't. The factory saves a day yet again. Uh, yeah. I don't need life gems. I've got so many of those. All right. Now I think would be a good time to go back home. Oh, look at that. One of the beams stayed over there too. <laughs> Did it again. Ah, uh, yeah. We're gonna at least go over to storage area here, and. I'm going to keep those on me for now, I think. Granite blocks, beam sword, spelunker. Yeah, I don't need most of this. And, I'm, yeah, I'm going to keep those on me and same with that. Granite blocks, un or violent eye of the storm. On combat, granite energy will slowly seep out and damage nearby enemies. Okay. The energy storm partisan. Dealing damage twice in one use of this weapon will unleash an uh, energized explosion. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, it's a thunderstorm. We're not hanging out up here. We're going to go down here. And we're going to talk with Lap, I think, for now. So, hey, Lap. Granite Tooth. Yeah, the only use for this is to make the granitic sonar. Summons the Grand Granite Worm while in the caverns. Okay. Granite energy core. Uh, there is. There is like oh, there's like a granite rod. <laughs> Crossbow greaves. There's armor. There's a pick. There is like a summon weapon, but I think it's only dropped by by the boss. And you can use the unstable cores here to actually summon him in. So let's uh, put that and that away. We're gonna go here, search granite, I think. Granitic sonar. And I'm curious, okay, so boss log. Thorium mobs don't show up there. Uh, table of contents. Like, does the hive mind show up in here? It does! Look at that. Only the mods that actually add the, the, the proper hooks into their mod can use uh, this book here. Uh, let's see. Hits taken, 40 hits. Lowest health state, 149. Fight duration, 
Six minutes. Damn, I didn't realize that. Kill death ratio, one kill, no deaths. Okay. Just kind of kind of interesting stuff. And then you can go through and spawn info, like how does it spawn in? Uh, loot and collection. What does it drop and what have you gotten? So like if I go back to like say acid rain. Loot and collection. We have Parasitic Scepter and Sulphuric Scales. These are the enemies that spawn in during that. Okay, kill count. Since it's an event, you just get to see banners, but it'll show you like how many of each you have to kill still. Kind of cool. Spawn info. Use the Caustic Tear or wait for the invasion to occur naturally. Recipe from Calamity Mod. It's Sulphuric Scales by hand. I mean, it's kind of cool. I can't remember what this is called off the top of my head, though. Like, Boss Helpers, I think is what it's called, actually. So where am I going to try to fight this damn worm at? Uh, here. So, let's look at potions here. I'm going to be in a very confined space. I, I'm going to want potions for this fight, I think. Titan, and then Swiftness, Regen. I think that's about all I got left. Yeah, I need to get some sort of potion promo going, and I'm just going to eat my bacon. 45 minute buff on that, so. Oh, look at all these actuators here. That's where the lab used to be, right here, and I emptied the whole thing out. I didn't realize it had actuators in it. That's kind of cool. Uh, Granitic Sonar. 10,500 health. Just go ahead and hit it with a little bit of rage right away. And it's already halfway down. Um, it is a worm boss, so... This should actually pretty much melt it, honestly. Yeah, it's dead. Oh, hell. Let's see what this treasure bag is down here. There we go. Alright, treasure bag. Granitic Scythe. Right click to throw like a boomerang. If thrown, shoots any energy sparks when it hits an enemy. And that's like standard scythe, okay. Remy has his legs, head, and body. And. Grand Granite Tooth. The more health you have, the more damage you deal. Trace damage for damage reduction, the less dam less health you have. It's kind of cool, actually. I forgot to buff. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay. Where is the nearest marble biome? Uh, yeah, no. It's in the jungle, isn't it? Yeah, I did kind of prepare that one anyway, so wait a second, though. That's a good size one, too. That's where the shrine is. So. Pretty sure I looted it. Alright, come out here, kill the silverfish. The silverfish does have a rare drop that I can sometimes, you know, get. Uh, let's see. What are you? Platinum. Oh, well. Honestly, it's platinum. Not that huge of a worry. Uh, yeah, we're going to go here, I think. Oh, there's granite right here, too. You know, I should be grabbing the statue. And why not the painting, too? Hello, Trencher. You're a jerk. Hey! Is that ancient brass? Bronze alloy fragments. Yeah, if I right-click with it, it does that. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like. Oh, hello, hag. A jungle hag. So, honestly, your best defense is actually just to sit still with her. 
Oh, Corpse Bloom spawned in. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a scythe boomerang. Corpse Bloom was down here. Was. I mean, it despawned now. But it, uh... It left some uh, of his little thingies behind. Oh, granite slime. It's one of those new post Galatron enemies. Ow. Kill it. And my inventory is full again already. Didn't take long. Uh, I don't need petals though either. Granite geode from malicious. I need to check that out actually. Completely spaced over that whenever I uh, open the loot bag up. And I'm gonna get rid of the Remy as the suit for now. Did you drop any teeth? Oh, look at that. Ow. Ow. Uh, corpse Bloom. I'm not seeing like an indicator though. Down below. Okay, I, I hate to do this, but I want to kill Corpse Bloom too. Oh, it's up in here. There. Oh. Oh. Look at that. They improved Corpse Bloom quite a bit, actually. Okay, it's dead now. And downside is you only ever get to fight one of them. After you kill it, it never respawns, so... Are you still here? No, you despawned. Dang it. I do want that. Should have gone down this way to kill Corpse Bloom instead of going around the long way. Alright, well. Come up here for a second, we'll uh, dip our toes in some honey. What do we got? Um, weed Eater. It was a stationary poison spitting plant, bud. Those things. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Ah, actually, I didn't want to keep the seeds. I'll be okay as soon as I can actually buff, though. thing. I want his uh, bronze alloy thing. Fragments. And still no thing. Bizarre rock formation I think is what it's called. Oh hello you. Goodbye you. There it is, though. It's back now. It is right here. So. Alright. And basically, at this point, focus on out dodging. Out. And let's go ahead and buff. This guy is a lot of fun because he's small. So it makes him a harder target. Ow. 
Ow. Jumped right into that arrow, didn't I? Oh, don't be hiding in blocks when I do that crap. Oh, great. Now he's brought out the ghost guys. Okay. Great. No, no. Not great. Not great at all. Heal. Really? Hold stomach for another... How? Good. Get off of me. Just kill him. Thank you. Oh. Alright, we're going back to base. That's actually three bosses so far. Oh, now that is a storm. Look at that. That is a hurricane. That is awesome. I love it. Alright, let's get some of that stuff put away. And his material. Hmm. The other class I don't care about. So, Agile Champion Swift Blade, Precise Laudanum. Cool, Laudanum, nice. Champion's Wings. So, ah, oh, dang it. I might have enough room over here to, to check check out the difference. Oh, it's already faster on the uh, liftoff. Alright, so 1530. I was paying attention to the, uh, the number. Okay, 1420. So 110 feet. The same. Tell you what, that's going to be my vanity wings. That will be... Because the, the bad run rings have armored on them, so. And the spiritualist has shown up. Alright, interesting. Yeah, hurricane detected. So. Alright, Mr. Guide? Tell me what. So we have granitium, breastplate, it's just armor. There's two recipes for each, right? Platinum or gold, platinum gold, platinum gold. Okay, that's it. Armor. Yay. And the granite worm scarf. The less health you have, the more damage reduction you get. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. To kill Eater Worlds finally for that, though. Well, I guess I could buy a worm scarf, but... Um... I hold shift, my crit chance goes down. It's weird. Oh, it's because it's imparting the crit chance from my pick onto the weed eater. Whenever I hold shift, it's going away. Weird. All right, cool. Does it to does it to everything? Huh? Strange. So we have a spiritualist who just moved in, and where am I to be? Oh, the druid moved in too. I didn't even notice. Okay, cool. Horde zombie. Da, 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 da. No. Jack the skeleton. I haven't talked to him yet either. Or the clothier. And the spiritualist. Okay, cool. They're they're all in the same area. All right, clothier guy, Benjamin. What do we got? Better outfit. We've got. Useless armor. Got the familiar stuff. Okay. Got a beanie. Dungeon walls. Unsafe variants. You can buy bricks for free. That's kind of cool. Alright, Zen. What do we got? Uh, this is all healer stuff, isn't it? 
I will buy the altar though. And put that down in your house. And you did get a buff off that, don't you? Your healing spells will heal additional life. Okay. So that's like the buff station for healers. Summons a light infused goat to brighten up your path. Hmm. Sentinel's Wand, Redeemer Staff, Lesser Life Water. Sorry, what was that? Grants bonus life regen and max life. Hmm, I might actually get into that. The fact it's only 75 is not great. Now, Grievous, what do we got here? Anything new? Ah, eh, Slimy Key, Dungeon Slimes, okay. Anything in Shop 2 yet? No. Alright, Miss Druid. Rose, what do we got? Uh, we can buy Ranger's Cowl, Fertilize, instantly grow a sapling. Buy the seeds from her. Life Disperser, Marshy AstroTurf. Can grow marshy weeds and yew trees. So you plant the acorns on there, it grows yew wood trees. Sweet. And the Bloom Guard, okay. Now, there was another option for you, wasn't there? No, there's not. It used to be you could get free herbs from her. Like once a day, she'd give you like three or four. I mean, like nothing major, but it was kind of cool. Hey, Dalton. Um, he sees this red. Teleports you to the jungle's or dungeon's entrance. All right. Eh, sure one out, right? And I, well, you might have something new up here. Callius. Militarian? Honestly, expecting someone a little taller and nymph dungeon slime holy grail summons tim <laughs> good reference i like it undead miner eggplant dr bones why eggplant though also i really don't care about that and summons pinky okay summon something random Hey, Terrence, I can buy everything I've killed so far. I can, I can buy a summoner for. What is that? Oh, yeah, that's right. Expert mode. Storm player, semi crown, you know, all the fun stuff. I haven't killed the Eater Worlds yet, but I can buy his summon. What is that? Teratoma. Oh, yeah, I have mind. So, nothing particularly new or interesting so far. A leech. Um, nothing new really. Maybe you might have something new after I kill Skeletron, but uh. Alright, and. Lisa Day. Um, yeah. Bloody warm tooth, yay. So, nothing really all that vastly important. Whoop, in the water we go. And it's actually using uh, probably the master bait first, I think. Armor cave fish, that's endurance potions, which is nice. Yeah, I need to move that thing to the jungle so I can get some uh, variegated lard fish. Get some summon potions that way. So that's that's three uh, three bosses in one go. All right, the Viscount. I'm not looking forward to trying to find him. Use five unholy shards and underground blood chamber. Ah, uh, what was that thing called though? The Pointer or something like that. Finger, maybe? No. Pointer, yep. Oh, I just realized I need to get a tele counter still. Alright. Pretty much straight down from here, actually. Huh. Well, I'm gonna go find this guy's lair, but I'm gonna go ahead and call us an episode at the same time. So, thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series, and until next time, sign signing out, have fun. 
Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 18, no, 19, isn't it? Oops, and that's lava. Of my, oh, ouch. Let's uh, stay out of that, out, shall we? My uh, Revengeance Summoner playthrough. And I, okay, I keep having to take a dip in the freaking lava, don't I? Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I've located the thing. It's right here. And actually, it wasn't all that hard to find. My base location was a huge help. And honestly, I'm just going to break through here. All right. I should have brought a mirror with me, honestly. Oh, dang it. I should have known that was a thing. Oh, hey, skeletons. Any skeleton. Now, cool thing is, is his lair actually comes with built-in campfires. So, it does help a little bit. I have some built-in regen. I need to do some things like clean out my inventory. And, yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, wait a second, though. All right, well, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's almost straight, straight shot down. So let's get some of the stuff dropped off here. Uh, we're gonna keep, oh, uh, keep the wall skeleton, I think. And then I need some shards, blood shards, unholy shards, these things. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves, you know, some buffs here. Probably good enough. Um, let's see, I have well fed for another six minutes. Yeah, it's more than enough time to kill this guy, right? All right, so yeah, just right click on the altar when you have five blood shards or more in your inventory. It spawns in the boss. So let's go ahead and buff. Oh yeah, let's not uh, jump into those things if I can avoid it. Oh, he's dropping the blood orbs. Okay, nope. Okay, the green ones bounce around the room. The red shots just go straight through. And he sometimes does that. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, when he does a stomp, then if you're touching the ground, you get uh, turned to stone. Ah, lovely. And eventually he's going to start summoning in little guys. He's going to drop rocks from the ceiling. And I wonder. Okay, yep, yeah, nope. He switches over to red shots if you're uh, not in the room with him. Good rage. And heal. Oh, he's tracking me with something. Oh, he turned me into a, a, a bat. My god, it doesn't affect minions. And... Oh, no, no, no. I'm a bat again. I'm a bat. Why am I a bat? I don't like being a bat.
And he's dead. It's a fun little fight. And we got a yo-yo. Also, the Vampire's Catalyst. Transforms into a bat capable of flight. Transformed to small or immune to most bad enemies. Cannot use conventional items while transformed. However, apparently you can use minions, so. And then the Guano Gunner. Turns bullets into bolts of slow moving waste. Ramps up in speed the longer you shoot it. He does have a summon weapon, but honestly, I really don't want it, so. It's a life stealing minion that takes up two slots. And honestly, I've never really found it to be all that useful, and I did try it. I might eventually farm him up, just so I can actually give it a fair try. But, yeah. Not not all that likely, honestly. It's, well, that is better. Alright, let's uh, run down here now. I've got some rooms to populate here. So, workbench, chair. So that's what, one, two, three, four so far? And five, including the one I'm in. Good, workbenches, why not? And all the rooms already have a light source in them, so that's just another plus. Any feeling? Yeah, it's nighttime, so. Um, the wall skeleton is for the... What the heck? Basically, it's a... A dungeon furniture seller. The hell is shooting flames at me now? I think the thing died. I got feral by ay 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 ay. Make sure to keep a summon weapon equipped as well, or like well, not necessarily equipped, but in your hand. Otherwise, you're Minions take a damage hit and uh, barrel bite. I swear, I hate it. All right, it's now morning, and I'm just gonna trash that. I mean, it is warding and all, which is cool, but meh. And actually, I need to put this just in here. That way, if I Go in the dungeon again and like say hard mode. I've got it on me. It's not something I need clogging up my inventory all the time. This on the other hand, I am liking the mechanical lens. Oop. So where is my gabo? Grodax, reforge this. Agile, adept, weak, inept, unpleasant, nasty. Oh, there was a ghost nearby. I'll take godly, though. Godly is not a bad thing to have on there. And... I'm trying to remember if I talked to Sam last episode or not. Sam the Skeleton. I don't think I did. Sam's not here, is he? Sam is... Oh, he's all the way... Jack, not Sam. Jack. He's up here hiding. All right, so jack-o'-lantern can be placed. Treat bag. Gives more minion capacity and mini damage. Hell yeah, I'm gonna buy a few of those. So we're looking at, what? Six minion slots currently and 14 summon damage. 
15 summon damage, and 7 minion slots. Okay. So it was like a 10% boost and... And an extra slot. Well, it's not bad. But it's also a different buff from the uh, Bewitchment table. Alright, has anybody else moved in yet? No, no, they haven't. Oh, that's a ghost right there. I don't have any more gizmo packs right now, though. Skeletal, the dungeon decorator. There we go. And he is in the new rooms I just built. So let's go see what he's got to offer here. All right, general shop. Buy the lanterns. We can buy like wall skeletons and and whatnot. The gothic furniture, chain lanterns, water candles, door spikes, all that fun stuff. We go to cycle shop, blue dungeon shop. You can buy all the blue dungeon furniture. And I think th these are safe versions of the walls here. So, in order to make the dungeon in your image, this is the guy to do it for you. He's got pink, green, and then the paintings. That's green. I didn't want that. Would you freaking come here? Painting shop. And yes, all the paintings you can get from the dungeon. Trio of superheroes. There we go. Alright, kill. Alright, so we had the Viscount done. Deviant. Hmm. And the Illusionist. Then Slime God and Wall of Flesh. And we're going to be in hard mode. I guess I should go after the, the Eater Worlds, but I don't really need the Shadow Scales or... I went the wrong way, Demon. Uh, shadow Scales is the Demon that he drops. Worm Scarf would be nice, but... Kind of liking everything else I got. Alright, back to the realm of peaceful music. Deviant's Curse. I can get five of these. So it's what? Gel, Lens, Vertebra, Stinger, Hellstone, and five cracked gems. Hey, it's a nice beautiful day after the hurricane came through. And... Absolute Rage, Halloween Spirit. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And hey, look, eight minion slots. Uh, let's have some sashimi. Deviant has awoken, 14,000 health. Oh, that was a good shot on that one. Oh, what the heck? Oh, this is only a little bit of a bullet health fight now, isn't it? Um, yes. My minions vanished. I think he hit with me so many status ailments that it's like my minions away. Like, whatever the hell. Yeah, look at all the debuffs that show up here.
Yeah, my minions are gone again. There we go, I can finally heal. He even stripped away my well fed. Now I don't I don't like the uh stripping a debuff or a buffs away. But for God's sakes, don't touch the minions. Oh, what the heck? All the skulls. Ah. And the, the sudden bullshit, you stop running thing, uh, that I can definitely do with that. There we go. But I get the feeling that that's not supposed to be a, uh, a pre-hard mode boss. Yep, and it's the same guy that lives downstairs. So. Yeah, no, the... Oh, I hate that fight so much already. I'm not doing that one again until hard mode. Screw that. I'm going to get, like, at least a lady's light or something first before I do that. Yeah, be charging, you know, be running away all of a sudden, just come to a dead stop, and it's just like, no. That and the stripping of all buffs away, including your, your summons. I call BS on that one. This should not be a thing. If you're going to do that, levy, like, the curse buff, debuff at the same time. Actually, no, not even that, because you can avoid curse. Uh, you can't avoid just having everything just vanish. But if I was another class, then it would not have been an issue. All right, so up with the ranting. Of course, it's Fargo's. It's not meant to be fair. Uh, honestly, it's like a slime god and a wall of flesh. And I'm not certain how I feel about that. Okay, what's the slime god's? Uh, summon item is what? Overloaded gel? Yeah, sludge. Overloaded sludge. Well, no, actually, I don't need that. I need here. Hey, it's something I can make. Evanstone, Crimstone, Blighted Gel. Yeah, Blighted Gel, that's not. Not that hard to get, so that's good news. And like the Evan and Crimstone, that's pretty easy too. So, uh, potion time. All right, we're back, and I've got buffs together. I um, actually was able to make a arm stimulant. I changed the recipe for that, which is awesome. But we're gonna go ahead and pop this, and. Start over by the dungeon, I guess, would be a good place. I feel like I'm going to actually cover a good portion of this map, so... And, let's see. There's that. There's that. Nine minions. Alright. Well, I dodged through that shot, and actually, you know what? I'm use the damn books. Except I'm gonna start over by the dungeon. <laughs> These guys tend to push you all around the map, honestly. Out of shots now, which is not good. But I managed to pop adrenaline anyway. 
and heal. Okay. Now I have rage. Oh yeah, I got the ah, that I hate that debuff. Oh, get some of that stuff down. Whoa, wrong thing. There we go. And the slime god is the slime god is glitching out. And I can do the book again. Awesome. There is a cooldown between using the book. So uh, after the book first goes away, you have a five second cooldown where you still can't do anything, but you can kind of take damage. And then it's got basically like a, a minute cooldown afterwards. I just ran right through that orb, didn't I? Ah, it got stuck. Okay, here we go. Alright, very good. Oh, we should have run through the water. Honestly, not my best move. Whoop, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay. There we go. I just, I noticed I had just a couple seconds till adrenaline, so I'm like, no, I'm just getting the hell out of here so I can actually maintain my adrenaline. Alright, good heal. And honestly, I think I uh, just had the slime cut left now. That is... I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would with the freaking Hornets. <laughs> uh... Now, one thing I never did is I never put that down. Oh, it actually slows them. Wow. Okay. That is... Oh, that would have made this fight so much easier, actually. Hey, buddy. Come here. Up, I got hit. Oh, no. It's the end of the world. Taking damage. He still has 4,000 health, though. So this, this part of the fight's going to take a while. Oh, he's no longer slowed, okay. This is where it gets to be fun now, actually. Oops. It's actually a very sedate fight if you can slow him. Like that. There we go. And I just gotta keep him in range of the, uh, the flower here. Okay, that was great. I just walked right into that thing, didn't I? And that one. And he's almost dead. I'm almost dead. Oh, crap. There we go. All right, well. Wait for the, uh, the orbs to despawn here. Let's see, we got... That is a travesty, one of the most threatening biological terrors ever created. If this creature were allowed to combine every slime on the planet, it would become nearly unstoppable. Favorite the item to become slimed and be able to slide around on tiles quickly at the cost to reduce defense. Makes dashing more difficult and does not work with mounts. Okay. Uh, we got Purified Jam, makes you immune to all damage and most debuffs for 10 seconds. Causes uh, Bocious Sickness when consumed. 
I haven't consumed while Potion Sickness is active. We have a grenade shell, we have magnum rounds, I'm just gonna trash those. Got a couple Nazars, which is kind of cool. I uh, got a couple... Oh, I actually got a tiny blue slime banner. Oh, wow. Well. And I never buffed. Again. Didn't use any of that. Wow. Kind of surprised. And I got the Crim Slime Staff. Uh, we got the, what, Mana Polarizer. Increases max mana by 50. Life Regen Lord by 3. You have over half your mana. Grant Spectre Healing. The amount of heal scales with your mana. Healing only works while holding a magic weapon. The more mana you have, the more mana you heal. Interesting. Permanently makes Adrenaline Mode take 10 less seconds to charge. Hell yeah. Electrocyte Gel Pack. Eldritch Tome. Okay, that's kind of cool. Bit on the random side, but it's pretty, still pretty cool. And yeah, no, that's uh, that was slime god fight actually. I did not think I was gonna do that well the first time. I did take a lot of stupid damage there, but uh, the hornets did hold up. Granted, I had at one point in time like eight of them. Still do have eight, right? Yeah. Oh, that might have made a difference, too. Uh, let's go back to base now. Because I can now make the Statigil armor. I'm not sure I want to, though. But, I mean, it is a thing that I can make, so... Let's see what else I can make with Purified Gel. Jelly Charged Battery, plus one minion, and 7% in damage. Oh, it's the upgrade to the, uh, the Voltaic Jelly. We'll take Jelly, Wolf from Battery, which I have, and okay. Definitely need to make that Radiant Ooze. Emit light and regen more, or regen life more quickly at night. Okay. That is his Ninja Belt, which is uh, not available yet. That Agile Armor is actually higher defense. And. It's only plus one minion, though. So probably not. Static Refiner, I should probably go ahead and make that. Static Gel Block, Overload of Sludge. Make it with this stuff as well, but why bother, really? Charge Ray, Gelitic Blade, The God's Gambit, Kubo, Gunkshot, Lunarian, Lunarian. Really, do they not have the uh, summon weapons with this anymore? You actually have to get them as drops. That's kind of a little bit lame. And as a storage unit, one uh, 907 there. Okay. Energy core, we're putting that away. Same with the purified jam. I never use this stuff anyway, so. And we'll go ahead and put that away. And. It is material, so. Lose that. Granitic scythe. That's kind of cool, but. Eh. Melee weapon. Alright, so... Am I missing the Wolfram battery now? I am missing a Wolfram battery. Really? I thought I would have had that by now. Hm. Pretty certain I did at one point in time. I might have accidentally trashed it. Uh, I'm going to put the Lucky Coin away as well. And... Why did I go there? I had to actually... I came over here because I have to drop it in here. Not the best setup magic storage system, but it's... It's a thing, right? So, I can make myself an obsidian shield now. Now, cobalt shields is just cobalt, so, I mean, it's not hard to get. And let's go to equipment here. Figure that out. Yep. Uh, let's see, flower boots. I can actually craft flower boots. That's kind of cool. Because that actually is a it's an ingredient for stuff I need. Uh, let's see, I've already got yeah, medicated bandage. Oh, you can make obsidian rose too. That's kind of cool. 
Harpy Ring, 20% increased movement speed, boost max flight time by 25%. Something I overlooked, actually. Uh, maybe later. Because it does upgrade too, so. Uh, Obsidian Core. I'm looking for any of the status. You know, basically the, the components of the Ankh Charm. See what I can make. And. I can make a partner jar. Let's make a partner jar. Um, looks like the only one I can actually make is the medicated bandage, which I've already got, so. I was kind of hoping. Yeah, the radiant ooze is, is an accessory. And it is almost nighttime now. Okay. Let's go shut the druid up here. She's like, hey, look at me. I still overloaded the sludge. Yeah, okay, we know. Alright, and got a strange crate from Thorium. Okay. And let's see, it's actually using the firefly up first, okay. Twenty wooden crates. I am probably just going to do the open mode, hard mode thing. Just speeds up crafting and all that. Uh, ocean bar, smooth coal, mana potion, okay. So, Plaguebringer Pistons. Eight defense, whoop. 13% increased minion damage, 15% increased movement speed. Grow flowers on the grass beneath you, chance to grow very random dye plants on grassless dirt. You spawn bees while sprinting or dashing. Interesting. And that is, yeah, after Plaguebringer. And it's also part of the Chlorophyte enchantment. Okay. So let's put that stuff away. And I've got so much crap on me at all times now. I don't need bombs anymore, because my pick can actually break everything. And... I just need a tally counter, I think, to make the uh, uh, the cell phone, which would free up a few more inventory slots. So I'm going to go farm in the dungeon for a bit, and uh, we'll see what I can if I can finally get myself a tally counter. All right, so three minutes of uh, of farming later, tally counter. So let's go ahead and we're going to drop off the goblin tech and the GPS, my ice mirror. I don't need all these damn bombs on me. And the life form analyzer. And that needs to go into my piggy bank, which I've got one down here, so. Alright, so. I forgot what the last bit is called. Ah, the REK3000. And now I can make PDA. And now I should be able to make, wherever it's at, a cell phone, right? Is the cell phone not an accessory? It's not an accessory, okay. And I've got two of each mirror, so it doesn't really matter, okay. Now it does say that this is a material still, so what do we got? Oh, it's part of the World Shaper Soul, okay. All right, we're going to favorite that, though, and I don't need fishing power. Moon phase. Weather. Rare creatures is fine. Creature count, don't care about. Kill count, I do, kind of. DPS and depth. Okay. There we go. All right, and build a bunny. I want to check the miner and see if he. I don't. I doubt he unlocked anything else. But all right, wrong way. Oh, the rogue unlocked something else though. 
Uh, yeah, no, don't look like he unlocked anything else, but the rogue did. Uh, bear's eye, gel dart, okay. Come here, old eye, yep, okay. Everything else is pretty much the same. Now, Bruce. Three treasures. What'd you find? A snail. <laughs> okay. There's no trees around here, so you I guess you get random stuff from him. And yeah, I can buy all the wood I want from this guy, which is kinda nice. Olivia, did you ever like shape up and start selling something new? No, no, you never did. What is up with our NPCs? Do we get all the like pre hard mode ones? Uh, the traveling merchant can actually move into a house, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's see, what we got hard mode, hard mode, hard mode, hard mode. Same. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yep. Have something. Absol vodka. Okay. Yep. I have a top hat scroll in your inventory. Interesting. Okay. I think that's the only one, like this guy, and the ghost never moves in. He just randomly spawns in. Uh, the traveling, this traveling merchant, um, how much mod it is that adds it in, but same, I think it's LUIFKs. Adds in a bone merchant and a traveling merchant that you can actually, like, have move in with you. I'm gonna buy a bunch of those. Alright. So I need to find a top hat squirrel. And then I will have pretty much uh, all the uh, the pre-hard mode NPCs. And there's a lot. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this popped into here. Uh, up next really is the, uh, well, the Deviant I'm not doing again. Illusionist I have never seen in the dungeon. So... But it's Wall of Flesh pretty much next. And I managed to clean my inventory up a little bit more, which is kind of nice to have. I don't really need the stat sheet on me all the time, do I? And... Oh yeah, I forgot. I favorited that fishing pole and I just never use the damn thing. So... I will do... Like so. And unfortunately, it's like nighttime. But I mean, look how much. Yeah, the radiant gel is actually very bright. I like it. I do rather like that. So. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, I got to prepare for the wall of flesh. And it's going to take. I have to wait till morning at least so I can try to get a top hat squirrel. And it's going to be a little more interesting because I don't have any NPCs on the surface, so there's nothing to encourage, uh, you know, passive mobs to spawn in. Right now, it's all, like all about the hostile. Um, I do have a masterful creme slime. Forty summon damage is actually not terrible. I mean, it's three times what my hornets do. I'm not even seeing them show up. What the hell? There they are. It's a slime staff. Uh, no. No. One thing I think I will do between episodes is also go to the abyss. Seems like it might be a pretty decent idea. And actually, what else do I have down here? Oh, hey, I do have aqua potions. Cool. Unlimited water, un unlimited movement underwater. So I figure I'll go to the abyss. Uh, let's grab a spelunker potion too. Uh, regen and swiftness would be good, just to run away from things. Uh, night owl, yeah. And I'm gonna try to find the herring staff, but the problem is, especially early game. The abyss is so flippin' dark, it makes a horrible video. But, thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series, and until next time, 
Sign signing out. Have fun.